All right, I'm back guys. I'm back guys. It's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you for continuously watching my videos and staying with me. Let me turn the camera around. All right, so we're in the basement grow. Uh, as you guys know, I actually moved locations and uh, that's because my wife was just so sick of seeing my grow operation um, upstairs. So she's like, hey, move your stuff downstairs. So uh, as I told you guys before, I had a child, a beautiful daughter. Thank you all for, uh, you know, everybody that commented. Uh, I'm super lucky, super excited what's to come. She's absolutely remarkable. But let's tune in and let's go ahead and talk about what I got going on here. So let me go back. I mean, this is now becoming like my lair. Like, am I, I'm, I'm going to show you a crib. This is like a crib section on my basement now. Over here, we got the jailhouse looking, uh, you know, workout bench. Uh, a little bit of workout equipment that has been used maybe once. But as you can see, right down there, I'm, I'm, it's like, you know, slowly I'm getting things situated. Okay. That wasn't there before. That was actually upstairs. I brought that thing down. This kind of now holds my nutrients, holds everything here. I mean, like, here's my, this is the heating mat that I used during germination. We got some old nutrients that, and some pH up and down. And this is my uh, pH reader. Here's my PPM reader. You guys should get these. You PPM reader. This is great. This you test your water at your house on how many parts per million it has. Obviously, the more parts per million, the the dirtier your water is. So get one of these. The link is right down below. Also, when you're growing hydroponically, you want to make sure you test your uh, water for pH. A good neutral pH is like a seven, seven and a half. That'll keep your plants nice and healthy. Just, you know, you know, you want the pH in your body to be good. You want that water for the plants to be good too. Obviously, I, I use the botanical kind for all my uh, liquid nutrients, bloom, base, and grow. And, of course, the Clonex, which really helps with the, 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 germ the germination parts. What I soak my rock wool in. So my clay pebbles and <laughs> an old light. Here's this old, uh, old light. Uh, still works, still great. Might have to auction that off one of these days. I got some of these new... Look at these. Check these out. This could be... This could be how I'm doing the next... Uh, the next reservoirs. Maybe I'll show you guys how to do these. Check these out. Wouldn't that be cool? It's, it's all black. This way, you know, for all you fanatics that love to tell me, Oh, you have, you have so much green and the algae and this and that inside of uh, my reservoirs because they're white these are black the tops are a little more difficult to put the holes through but i think it could still work i think you get one two three i think you could easily get a nice six in here you might even be able to do uh, one two nah you could you, you could probably yeah i would just do six comfortably right in there six right in here would be nice the water level will be like up to here I think these could work really, really well for like a nice small grow operation. And I'm thinking about just creating these and just, you know, creating a kit. And anybody that wants to uh, get a kit from me, they can always comment or send their email and just communicate with me through Facebook. And all the links are down below, especially for the Facebook group. Everything is down below if you guys want to get in touch with me. And plenty of you do because you always have questions on the current situation where your grow operation is and so forth. So, but this is, this is it. So this is what's going to be happening down here. I also got my small tent here, as you can see. Let me back up a little bit. I got the small tent there, but that actually has clothing in it. <laughs> That's got clothing in it, but I'm going to be getting going with this. Here are uh, my reservoirs right here, and I will be putting those right there. Now, I know I jumped into this because I'm like super excited to finally grab the camera and get back into filming things, but it's still not as easy as I want it to be because I got a child, I got work, I got things to do, guys, and so do you, but I'm so excited to just jump back into this. Also, I got to make sure I cover up my windows uh, because I don't want anybody thinking, even though I'm cool with my neighbors, I don't want anybody thinking that I'm doing something illegal down here. Uh, I strictly grow vegetables. Uh, I don't partake in anything uh, illegal wise, even though it could be, I don't even know state wise if it's legal here or not, but 
doesn't matter to me. My main focus is, is eating clean. I want some basil. I want some lettuce. I want some, a ton of lettuce. <laughs> uh, I just want some highly nutritious vegetables that are pesticide free. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a pesticide free goods. As you can see here, I got my two lights set up right there. Everything is running right through the bottom there. Right down there, all the wires. These are my, uh, my, my pumps. This is the fan that I'll be using in here. I actually got the lights on in here just to kind of get them going. They haven't been on for a couple of months. I haven't grown anything for a little bit. So just getting it back of things. Let me actually just turn the camera around and talk to you guys real quick. So I'm, I am pretty stoked on, on jumping back into, into the growing game and getting, you know, for, get more content for you guys. So it's really important that you guys always watch the videos. Make sure to hit the links down below because everything that I do here, everything that I use, the lights, the storage bins for the reservoirs, the fan, the, the pumps, everything is easily accessible down below because it's really hard to sometimes come, up, come upon the, the proper products that you need to assemble yourself a small little indoor grow just like I do. So make sure to hit the links down below. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button if, they're, if you're new here as well as the bell. The bell indicator will just email you a notification every single time that I upload a video. Um, and that's really it. I mean I ordered a bunch of new seeds so that's exciting. Uh, and I will be setting all this up. Let me just flip this back around. I will be setting all this up in the next week for sure. I will be taking those reservoirs and sticking them here. Everything will be fully operational. The lights will be back on. The seeds will be germinating. And I will be taking you through the entire process, the entire operation. Really excited about it. You know, God, you, you, the, the, the OG Grow Indoor 365 people that have been here, you know, from the beginning know that I get super hyped up, super excited when I start making my videos because I, I truly do enjoy this and I truly do love the art of just like growing. Uh, I think it's just phenomenal. I think it's uh, super exciting and interesting how you could take something from seed and kind of develop this into this beautiful looking plant, you know. It's amazing. It's really, really amazing. And I, again, I'm just, I'm just here for the ride. I'm excited. I'm blessed to have this set up and uh, be able to tell you guys on how I'm doing it and kind of showcase and, and inspire people to be to show them that this isn't hard. This is actually pretty easy, and it's totally doable with anybody that's got a few bucks and a will to set this up. You could easily have food at your fingertips with just a little bit of, you know, structure, organization, a couple of bucks, get yourself a light, get yourself a tub, get yourself some water, and get yourself some seeds, and a pump, of course. That's all you will need to make sure that you have a nice thriving grow. So... That's really it, guys. Um, I don't really have much more to report on uh, besides all this fun stuff. And I keep just looking at this empty tent. Uh, <laughs> there's, really not, there's really not much else that I can tell you guys except uh, keep sticking with me, keep subscribing, keep watching the videos. Also, to make sure to go back to the older videos. I have so much content, hundreds of videos of, uh, of previously recorded content that is really good stuff on teaching you how to clone, how to make the reservoirs, how to set your own grow, you know, picking tents, making sure that you got the proper pumps, making sure that you got the, the proper, uh, just the overall setup that you need to maintain a grow like this. So again, thank you all for watching. This is Mike with uh, Grow Indoors 365. Make sure to subscribe. I look forward to everybody seeing what's going to be in here in the next you know week or so well the grow will actually probably it'll take at least like two to two and a half weeks but i will keep you updated on what's going on on the germination process and everything like that and i'll you know we're going to test these little guys out too to see uh how they work maybe i'll i'll throw them in there just to see how they work out but never know we'll see but anyway, guys, again, thank you so much for tuning in. This is Mike with Growing Doors 365. Give me a thumbs up if you at all enjoyed the video. If not, don't leave one. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, and all the links are down below for everything that I currently use to maintain a grow like this. Happy growing. I'll see you guys soon.